welcome back to New Dram Drinker. Uh, after last week's video where Nick went it alone, she kind of sat herself down in this quite cosy little area of the house, to be honest. So I thought I'd join her for this week's video. So uh, here I am in front of this thing that she kind of constructed one day. And uh, I'm going to do the video from here myself. So watch this little cinematic and then we'll get right onto it. So as you saw from that cinematic, it is the single cask inch fad four year old from the Loch Lomond distillery. Um, there's many reasons why I've got this bottle. One of them being it's an NHS exclusive. Uh, all the proceeds go towards the NHS, not 10%, not 20%, all of them. So I mean that in itself is a great reason to buy one, isn't it? Um, I do love these on the shelf to be honest and if you do want one if you are a certified original you can go and get 10% off the whole of their website you can um, I'll bring some pictures up to the right of me here and you can see some of the range that they've got they've got a great range and you get 10% off everything so head on over there if you're not a member consider signing up you actually save money for signing up if you want a bottle anyway so that's a bonus isn't it so should we get on with the uh, the bottle let's go One of the other reasons why I love this so much is, I mean, look at that bottle. I mean, it's a work of art. I don't know what it is about a square bottle, but it ju I just love it. Oh, genuinely. Ever since I kind of got into whiskey and I saw this bottle, I was kind of always wanted one. Just looks so interesting compared to everything else that I've kind of got on the shelf. Um, love the bronze logo on the front. This one has actually got the label that goes across, and I think this is the only one I've ever done that has got it across. I might be wrong, but I think I'm right in that. As you can see from here, all the others go straight down. Um, it's just a grand design. All of all the information that you need to know is on this little label on the front. It makes you wonder why all the whiskey bottles have got labels on the back and things like that. Give you the notes on on here, but that's what websites are for. <laughs> and that's what reviews are for your owner. We'll bring them up, obviously, so you can see. But yeah, I mean... Who wouldn't want that on the shelves? It's a gorgeous bottle and um, just makes me want to nose it, to be honest. So let's crack on with that. It is a lovely straw, a light golden straw colour. When I first looked at it, it reminded me of being in like a straw field. Um, it's just gorgeous, as if the sun's shining straight through it. Uh, legs on it are long, to say the least. Um, taken a long time to come down the glass. And they just, I mean, if you like long legs, you're going to like these. Okay, so instantly on the nose you get fruit. I get white fruit, I get melon, mango. Not so much tropical, but just white fruits. Almost like a bit of um, apple as well, like a green, like a Granny Smith's apple. It's very, very nice. It's fresh, maybe a touch of grass as well, which I wasn't getting in the week, but I'm getting it a little bit now with a little bit more time to breathe. But it's very nice, it's a very nice nose, very enticing, which is what it should be really. It's what the first part of the journey, isn't it, of trying it. it does make me want to drink it. But I'm gonna go onto my notes just to remind myself some of the things I picked up in the week, because like I said, they are <laughs> extensive. Okay. So the ABV presents itself, but it's secondary to the note. So it's not, it's there and you know it's there because it is quite a high ABV. I think if I remember rightly, it is a 61.4. So it's hefty, but it doesn't nose like that. You just know it's a higher ABV, but it doesn't overshadow the notes that you get. Considering they are, they are quite light notes, it's, it's quite well balanced, to be honest, on the nose. Um, it just gives you a warning that it's there, like I said. Um, citrus, melon, malt, that's there as well. Um, the green apples, pear drops. When I say pear drops, it's almost like a pear sweet, and it's almost like that fake pear, not like a, you know, like when you walk into a sweet shop and you get that kind of sugary 
the sugar kind of it's just in the air isn't it it's like a like a, an icing sugar kind of note that comes to you so it's very much like that um opal fruit again it's the the not the, it's the fake fruits that are there on the first nosing it comes across as quite fresh and real fruits but i think as you nose it a bit longer and dig into it it does start to show itself to almost be like a little bit more of a fake fruit note so just bear that in mind um sweet shop it's summery and fresh absolutely um i wrote down here it's like walking into a green grocer's again it's like those fruits and it's just that lovely kind of fresh grassy kind of note that just is just makes you feel like it's a light summer's day lemon and lime cordial with lemonade now this kind of goes into the palette for me as well and it i will get to call we'll come back to the lemonade side of it um but it's like just like i said the lemon and limes and all the white fruits and things like that. it's just a very gorgeous nose and um, on that note i think we'll move on to the palette <laughs> to the palette and don't forget to remind me to come back to that lemonade I mean instantly the fruitiness when you first drink it is there so it's very reminiscent of the nose but it really quickly twists into a more of a peppery note so I remember from in the week that if you're drinking a, a dram of this, the only time you ever get that fruit note is kind of on the first sip because everything after that, the pepper is such a long note that it kind of, it never disappears enough for you to be able to pick up the fruits at the start again. So, I mean, obviously if you had another one the next day, it would come back again, but like it, for one dram, it's the only time I really got that fruity note. Um, it's amazing how different it actually goes from the fruit to the pepper in your mouth. It's it really kind of it's almost like a tail of two halves. It really switches in your mouth, um, and I do like that because again, it's kind of that journey through the whiskey. The nose had a certain way, and it and it kind of comes through onto the palate, but then the palate switches into that peppery note, and we'll continue that on into the finish. Um, the fizziness from the lemonade is there there is a very kind of subtle it's almost like you have a, it's like a, the, a really fizzy lemonade but then as you drink it the lemonade almost like you know when it um like loses its fizz and it just kind of peters out into the finish but there's that just that fizz that just kind of like tickles your tongue when you drink it they're just it's just exciting it just gives you a little something extra um i'm gonna go to my notes because um, I'm sure there's probably things that I uh, picked up in the week that I haven't been able to now. Uh, right at the beginning, you get those white fruits, but that soon turns into pepper, white pepper, that is. Um, with a burnt caramel in a pan. And what I mean by that is, is that if you've ever kind of done apples with a caramel syrup on them in the, like a frying pan, and then, I don't know, maybe you've uh, left it a little bit too long or you've took the apples out, but there's still some caramel in the pan and that keeps on cooking for a little bit and kind of just crystallizes and goes hard. It's almost like that burntness on the kind of on the pan. Um, it's not a bad note by any stretch of imagination, but it's just that kind of interesting kind of burn maybe a slight smoky kind of edge to it um it's very nice uh, but it's just lost that fruitiness a touch it just goes into the kind of a bitter more burnt note um prepare yourself when you first try it as it's the only time you will experience the fruit i've already gone into that so i don't need to say that again slight touch of smoke or oak again i think that's coming from the kind of the burnt caramel note um oak you can definitely get a woody note um and that again goes through into the finish which we will come back to um it's the same burnt toast sensation that i got off another whiskey uh, but that had jam this one is more of a burnt toast with a lemon curd on it so you've got the lemon and limes and it's just it it's really nice it's a strange one the burnt toast is just a really kind of strange note to get because it gives it almost that kind of like ashy kind of note but it's not that strong because the lemon kind of counteracts it um 
Mouthfeel's not as oily as expected from looking at the, uh, the legs on it. You know, I, I still agree with that. It comes across as a little bit more creamier than oily. And what I mean by that is that it doesn't coat your mouth as much as you think it's going to. It's more of a, um, it dissipates quicker. So it's almost like the um, like a squirty cream that kind of, you know, just kind of disappears in your mouth really quickly. Um, just leaves all the flavours kind of thing. But yeah, I still stick by that. Um, at four years old, you definitely can tell that it's young, but I think that that is what gives it its edge. And I, I still agree with that as well. I think if you had kind of left it any longer, it was in danger maybe of losing a little something. Um, I'm not going to add water to it today because I have done that in the week and I don't think it does it any favours. So I'm going to leave that. Maybe we'll post our thoughts on that on Instagram and Twitter for you to, if you're interested. But it didn't do it any favours in my eyes, so I didn't see any reason as to bring it to you guys either. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I love the tongue fizz. It gives you the pepper over time and that turns into cinnamon. Again, that almost goes back to almost like a, if you put the caramel the apples and then I think of like a toffee apple with that kind of um, cinnamon kind of dusting on it as well it's that kind of sensation it's a very very nice very nice whiskey indeed and like I said from the notes you can tell it's quite complex um, but really nice uh, and that is it for the palette and we shall now go on to the finish <laughs> okay so on to the finish this carries on again from it actually carries on from the almost the nose all the way through to the finish now because all the notes seem to return so the finish is a really well balanced finish it's a very long finish but i would say you've got the nose which is fruity then you've got the palette, which the overriding note is pepper. I would say the finish is a mixture of the two. You've got a combination of both that come back, which I suppose would be the perfect finish, really. Um, I wrote down here that it's drying, which it is. It definitely kind of, that fizziness almost turns your tongue dry. As, as, it, as I was saying earlier on, when it kind of um, loses its fizz, it almost dries your tongue out at the same time. So bear that in mind. Spicy, very long, oak and warm cinnamon. It's all those notes that we've talked about through the previous two. Uh, it's just a very, very nice finish. Um, it's really long. I mean, it lasts and lasts. And this is what I'm saying about you only ever get that fruit note. On the palate the very first time you drink the dram because the finish just lasts so long with that kind of peppery note that it never goes enough for you to kind of for it to, your palate to be able to acclimatize to get the fruits again because they are quite a light note um, overall it is a really nice whiskey and I would definitely kind of buy a bottle again and it's 49 pound I mean, like you get the ten percent off for being a certified original. It's like forty-five pound. I mean, it's a it's a it's a steal for that. You're almost, you're almost nicking it. But yeah, so awesome. Uh, on to the award. So the award, as you can probably tell, I really do enjoy this whiskey, um, and I am going to give it the fruit and spice and all things nice award. Because it's got all those things, it is a whiskey that it takes me on a journey. And when I first drank this, I was transported back to when the kids were little, and we were going down to the seaside, and we would kind of camp, and we would put the tents up. They would be playing, and we would have like uh, some drinks, and it's nice, and like a lemon and lime, and it's it's kind of. A glorious summer's day and that is very much the nose it's very light fruity summery fun just a nice kind of put you in a nice feeling but then the palette is almost on the evening when you light the fire and you get the barbecue on and you're having like burgers and some spicy sauce on there and things like that and it is just that it's almost like a day with the kids at the seaside camping in a glass and that to me reminds me of something that I loved and I would love to do again and I don't think you can ask any more than that from a whiskey if it takes you somewhere so yeah um, I would highly recommend this um, if you 
are in the market for having a gorgeous bottle on your shelf if you've already got some but haven't got this one i would highly recommend it as well because we have got the one that we had from the somerton club uh, and it it's equally as good as that uh, i love both of them um so yeah i would highly recommend you go out and buy one and let us know what you think in the comments we really would love to hear what your thoughts are and you're supporting the nhs at the same time aren't you so it's all good so as we say here on new drum drinker i want to thank you all first for watching the video and then secondly i want to say pour it drink it enjoy it Yeah.